Welcome to the death tunnels of Geonosis. One long, narrow corridor occupied by 1,000 battle droids, and the clone trooper army has to move through, eliminating the droids and making it to the droid ship entrance at the end of the corridor. This is going to be an insanely difficult battle for the clones, but since it's in the Gates of Hell Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, the clone troopers are going to have a little bit more health than the droids and better weapons. They just need to make sure that they don't exhaust their resources too early on from their launch point against the droid army. It should be incredible. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below if you'd like to see more Death Tunnel videos in the future. Now, let's see the carnage. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, pressing start right off the rip here and the clones just are full sending it forward. Full send! Death charge baby! Death charge down the death tunnel. You absolutely love to see it and they'll start engaging in these battle droids very, very soon here. Oh, 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 okay. They're getting sniped, actually. Just a little bit off the rip here. Uh, probably not the best thing, because I think the droid lasers can do some collateral damage to the clone troopers, which could result in some serious deaths for them. But they're starting to spread out as much as they possibly can around the death tunnel walls here and are getting some fire out on their own. And hopefully, they can eliminate a number of these droids. Now, the droids are set up throughout the entire entirety of this death tunnel in various different ways. Some are in ambush positions behind rocks, some are on static positions ready to fire out in front of them. Some of them, like these first ones here, are just free roaming droids. So uh, they can attack, they can retreat, they can do whatever they so please against the clone trooper army. Honestly, probably the free roamers are going to be some of the weakest options, while the strict defenders are going to be some of the best. But some of the ambush troopers could be actually very, very powerful as well. We'll just have to see how that works out. Somehow the clones do not take any losses right in this area. That's pretty impressive here. Again, this is the Gates of Hell Star Wars Galaxy at War mod versus the Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. So I have much less experience in this mod versus Men of War, and therefore I don't know the balancing nearly as well. So bear with me here as we see this fight play out. One clone decided to full send forward and ended up getting completely butchered. It was a medic too. Bro, what are you doing? That is not your job at all. We've got a couple more losses out here as well. Uh, yeah, just a few clones dying thus far, but overall it's pretty safe. I mean, nothing too crazy. We're going into full speed here and we can watch these clones really obliterate a number of droids, but they are sending a squad forward Full yeeting on up there. Okay, one of them decides to pause. Oh, another gets gunned down right there. I think they're aiming to get a better position here, uh, but they might just be suiciding forward. That's a weird glitch in Men of War and Gates of Hell. Uh, so rip, rip, potato chip to those boys. The rest of the guys come forward behind them, and hopefully they don't make the same stupid tactical mistake as the guys ahead of them. Oh, there is a grenade going out, but that's probably not going to hit anyone. It's pretty far out there, so that's very good to see. By the way, there's a ton of new Gates of Hell Star Wars Galaxy at war mod maps that I have never played before in this game so I'm considering maybe doing a bunch of these coming forward. Men of War Assault Squad 2 just has so many more options and vehicles and things like that and it can handle larger battles than Gates of Hell because the Gates of Hell graphics are obviously so much better uh, that it does slow down my computer a good bit more. But, that being said, I think it would be extremely fun to do a lot more Gates of Hell because the graphics are so much better and it's a lot more realistic uh, in terms of the tactics used as well as sort of the physics involved in the game and stuff like that. So that could be pretty fun. 
clones are coming upon a bit of a static position further up ahead here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit trickier for them to take out than their previous section. They've also taken some losses uh, in this previous section once those ambush droids finally managed to get some kills from behind the ATTE. Uh, but now the clones are able to come in full force forward here, mainly hugging this left wall and just taking the droids head on. But I mean, hey, who can who can blame them? Just go for it. Full send it, brother. Why not? You know what would go really, really hard here is uh, an AAT that would absolutely decimate the Clone Trooper army. Uh, but it seems like a lot of all-terrain vehicles have attempted to push forward through this death tunnel. And it resulted in a lot of death for both sides vehicles. So maybe that's just not an option in this entire thing. And really it is going to be an infantry only type of battle here uh, because of the narrowness of this. I mean... Oh, an AAT would just absolutely obliterate the clone troopers, though. It would be pretty baller to see. Uh, but you know what? We rooting for the clones today, boys. Or at least I am. You guys can review. Oh. Oh. That was a real, real nasty grenade right there. That, <laughs> that was fairly brutal. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, fellas. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. All right, that is that is a rough sight to see right there. That's that's no bueno. We don't like that one bit. Okay. Oh my God, they are getting gutted right here. What if we unclick camera position? Can we zoom in a little bit more? Oh yes, we can. Yes, sir. All right, you guys need to get out of this position. There you go. Grenade them. Okay, counter grenade is coming in as well. Okay, devastating for both sides right there, but you guys got to push. You got to push. You can't keep taking these extremely heavy losses right in this section. It's too early in the battle. There's still so much more tunnel to go through. <laughs> we cannot get stalled out right here. That would be so tragic. Let's check out the losses here. Yellow are dead droids. Red are dead clones. I would say, honestly, probably a little bit more droids have died than clone troopers on the battlefield thus far. Uh, hopefully the clones can make up for, uh, you know this because they are outnumbered they do still need to make up for this deficit uh, even though they have gotten more kills if you know what i'm talking about they, they, they gotta start getting even more kills they gotta they gotta nip this in the bud they can't be taking this many losses especially from grenades uh that's the biggest trouble and that's just because they're so clustered together but i guess that is what makes it a death tunnel so it is what it is, my guy. It is what it is. All right. Clone grenade going out right there. That's a good move. Disrupts the droid presence. And now they can proceed forward. Another very narrow choke point right here that they're going to have to move through. But that grenade really got that trooper. And that was beautiful. We've got some droids uh, behind the ATTE over here. Static firing down here. Another grenade. Oh, jeez. We can't have that. We can't have that. You guys need to throw it back. You need to run from it. Do something, please, because that is brutal. All right, clones pushing forward really nicely here, though. Droids off to the left here could get some deadly shots in, though. This could be a bad position for the clones to be dealing with. All right, yep, these droids, all they need to do is a couple grenades down that way, and they wipe out even more clone troopers as they go. I'm actually surprised that this droid isn't just, like, rapid-firing out there. There's the grenade, though. It could get... Oh, a little bit of a glitchy throw. Oh, it was... Wait, what? How did it throw two grenades? I am very confused. I don't know what exactly is happening here, but either way, more clone troopers dying due to those grenades and more droids way back here. A few are retreating as uh, the clones come forward, but that's probably for the best. It's a bit more guerrilla tactics. They fire, retreat, fire, retreat. A few of them die here and there, but it works out. Another pretty bad grenade right there against the clone troopers. Hate to see it. Clones are depleting their forces, but they're coming upon one of the first objectives. So there's a number of objectives on this battlefield. One of them is right here. This is the first objective, which is the downed LAAT gunship. It's a really solid, powerful static position, and there is a droid bunker behind, which is going to be very problematic going forward. Uh, the next objective is going to be this. Uh, I don't even know what these are called, but they're like starships or something. It's blown up. That's the next objective right there. Then we go further back, and the... Wait. There should be one more. Wait, did we miss one? Oh, inside the bunker is one objective. Clearing the bunker is objective. And then finally, the ship entrance over here is the final objective for the clone troopers. Uh, so they're about to come upon the first objective here. They've lost a solid portion of their force, but at the same time, they've killed a solid portion of droids. Uh, right now, yellow are dead droids, red are dead clones. 
It's probably 50-50 at the moment, although further back here, it seems like the clones are just straight sweeping droids over this way, which is good to see. You gotta keep that up because uh, you, you're taking some heavy losses here, boys. You're doing pretty poorly overall, I will say. And uh, this is only going to get harder as time goes on. <laughs> We've got droid snipers all the way back here. I don't know if those things are one-shot kills against clone troopers. They very well might be. I know some E5 carabines in the Galaxy of War mod for Men of War are one-shot kills. So some clones could be dropping due to those shots right there. Uh, but clones continue to clatter away with more shots of their own, taking out droids here and there. They're finally starting to... Uh, appear to get a lot more kills. Oh, we got a full-on death charge right here. The clones are tired of this. They're just getting forward, flooding the entrance right here. Start getting grenades over. Grenade out. Grenade out. That's what you got to do here. Come on, boys. Grenades. No one is grenading. As long as no one's grenading, I suppose it's fine, but this little choke point right here with the lat is going to be deadly. There are droid grenades now going out. That is going to kill a large number of clone troopers right there. The clones are trying to persevere trying to push forward uh they're taking extreme losses there's a clone grenade right there takes out a number of droids on the outside right there you can see through the bunker here the droids are just spam firing through right now clones trying to break through themselves as well this is a cluster this is an absolute disaster tactics are essentially out the window right now and the clones are just full eating it forward and i think that is probably the best tactic of all is no tactics right here just full send it baby that's all you can do Hope and a prayer here and, and just try and make it through because that's all you got. That's, you know, power in numbers right now. This is probably going to be one of the hardest sections of the entire battlefield. If they can clear this, they'll be Gucci for the rest of the battle, maybe. Well, let's not say that because that's probably not true. But uh, this is definitely a very, very major portion. That's going to be a deadly grenade. Throw it back. You guys literally have the ability to throw those back. Use it. That's a solid grenade from the clones right there. Only gets one kill. All right. And there's a number of droids in here, including a commander droid. That's probably valuable intel if you could take the head off of that thing right there. Ooh, lots of droids out here sort of gathering forward. Or are they retreating back? I'm not entirely sure. Clones starting to get some good sniper shots on them. They're extraordinarily clustered right here. Droid grenades would be deadly, deadly, deadly. Uh, yeah, the clones are seriously down in terms of their numbers. They've taken so many losses that they are starting to suffer deadly, deadly losses. Uh, <laughs> that sentence made no sense. I'm a little bit brain dead today, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I got, like, no sleep last night. But it is what it is. The show must go on. Okay, at least these guys are in here now. This is this is awkward hand-to-hand -hand combat. Someone threw grenades. Both sides died due to them. More clones dying. More droids dying. What is happening? Someone finish the job here and kill the rest of these droids, okay? There you go. Well done. Okay. Yeah, sure. Full send it into that droid body right there. And the bunker is taken. That's two of the objectives for the clone troopers. Dunzo right there. They've got two more to go. The battle continues. The droids are deploying more of their backline troopers forward here, as you can see. Uh, but they've still got further reserves further back which could be helpful. Why don't we go ahead and see what a time lapse looks like down the death tunnel, because that could be kind of cool. It'll be a very quick one, but I'm curious to see what it looks like in fast motion. I think it could be pretty sweet. Well, there you go. Only a minute and a half of the time lapse right there. And the clones have somewhat made it through this open space and they take another objective. Now there's only one to go. I'm curious to see how the battle goes within these sort of spires that are out this way. This is very, very guerrilla warfare-esque. This could be, you know, the, the trees speaking binary, but, but it's rocks this time around for the droids. And uh, it could be some pretty good hit and run tactics coming forward. And they've already gotten a number of kills on these clone troopers. And the clones are dwindling in numbers, so uh, they're not going to be able to brute force their way through this as much anymore. But they still need to make sure that they maintain enough soldiers to take the very back lines where the droids do have static defenses set up out here. Those guys uh, could absolutely wipe out the clones if the clones aren't careful and don't save enough men for going forward here. The droids are doing sporadic fire into the clone troopers. The clones are balled up still, but at least this time around, they're not within grenading distance. 
So therefore, you know, they're not going to take those mass, mass casualties. They're just taking light casualties going forward here. Um, and being balled up like this makes it so that they can fire a lot more as a unit and take out droids a lot quicker that way. Actually, the droids are pretty balled up over this way, but they seem more bent on retreating than actually fighting outright right here. And, you know, it is a strategy, and you can do sort of that hit and run tactic. But with this number of forces, I would probably not do that tactic and just try and hold out and set up a defense and try and defend against the oncoming clone troopers. That doesn't seem to be their MO right now, though, and they're just getting gunned down as they try and fall back bit by bit here through these spires. And once the spires are up, it is going to be the final stand of the droids. So they might as well just make the most of it. The clones have left behind a few troopers, particularly way back here. But as you can see, I mean... They've taken the losses the entire way forward in this battle. And now they've got maybe 50 troopers left, it seems like, from their starting few hundred. And the droids, of course, had a thousand troops to start with and are now down to probably, I don't know, 30? Something like that? Yeah, I think the clones finally do outnumber the droids. Uh, but the droids will have some pretty staunch defensive positions going forward, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, these guys just running away. Yeah, grenade, grenade, do a grenade. Do that. I find myself somehow now rooting for the droids. Use the grenade. You throw the grenade. Throw it. Oh my god, he's putting it away. Oh, the droids completely choked the spire defense. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Well, there's a grenade, but really stupid. What the heck is happening? What a bunch of stupidity. Okay, it is going to be up to the droid defenses in the way, way back here, holding the entrance to the ship. The Spire did just about nothing, and that is a tragedy for sure. I don't think these guys are going to hold out at all. Their accuracy is really bad with these weapons. I guess that does make sense. The E5 is supposed to be a bit of an all-arounder, but any game I've ever played with the E5, it seems like they make it pretty inaccurate. All right, well, this is probably going to be RIP to the droids. The clones finally start playing smart, too, and going for the grenades. Up, maybe they learned their lesson up until this point. They've been absolutely stupid. But now they're actually... Oh my god, that guy got absolutely blasted in the chest. Holy cow. Droid grenade coming out, maybe? This guy's got one. Use it. Use it, buddy. Oh, he puts it away. What are these droids doing? Okay, clones are dying down this way in the final stand. There's a clone grenade right there. That's going to be effective. Yeah, that was really good. That was well played. That'll burst them through this scene decently enough. All right, droid grenade, use it. No, he puts it away again. What are these droids doing? Use the grenades you're taking out. Use them. There you go. There's one going out. I'll hopefully get a kill or two. Maybe. Uh, oh, it got one. Got a heavy trooper kill. That's value. That's value right there. This is an awkward position for the droids to be in. Clone sign of, kind of amassing a over here. The droid's not really dealing with them as much as they should be. That's going to kill that droid right there. Yep, he's down for the count now. Oh my god, it's, I think the AI is struggling with the number of grenades. Are they like, you know, do I shoot? Do I try and run away from the grenade? What do I do? That's going to be a beautiful grenade from the droids right there. Oh, okay, nice job. But this position is going to collapse. And then it's just up to a few droids from here on. There's another grenade from the droids, but the uh, clones have learned their lesson completely and are just grenading the droids now, which is definitely the best case scenario for them. Maybe, yeah, like five droids left alive here. One of them gets absolutely sniped right there. Okay, a few more clones are dying. Oh my goodness, that guy was like, I'm gonna make it to the ship first, and then gets absolutely blasted in the butthole. All right, this combat medic is gonna die from a grenade. Yes, he is. <laughs> the AI is still pretty glitchy in Gates of L. Let's not lie to ourselves here. Okay, that's one last grenade. That will get some clone kills here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it didn't! They tanked it! And that's it! The clones make it to the hangar right there with like 50 clones left alive at the end and a whole lot of dead behind them. Yellow are dead uh, droids. Red are dead clone troopers on this battlefield. Clones really won this thing i think due to the spire getting almost no kills but up here i was like oh my god the clones are gonna lose this thing for sure but they ended up clutching it up at the spire no deaths and then a bunch of deaths here but they had enough to make it work for themselves beautiful Either way, guys, that's going to be the end of this Geonosis death tunnel video. If you want me to do a part two where they actually enter into the ship, 
please let me know in the comments. I can easily do that in this game. That'd be pretty fun and set up a scenario for me if you'd like in the comment section below. But either way, that's going to be about it for today's video. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.